Uh, Felix Kwachi Ofosu is a former deputy minister of state in the John Mahama government. He is currently the NDC parliamentary candidate for Abra Sebo Kwamankesi in the central region. Honorable, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Mr. Kwachi Ofosu, can you hear me, sir? Hello? Yeah, yes, can you hear me? I can hear you. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. I want you to respond to something. I want to hear it. Uh, I want you to hear it for the next 10 seconds or so, if you could kindly indulge me. Oh. Why is John Mahama running away from the debate? Baumia says he's ready any day for the debate. Why is Mahama running away from the debate? What's your response to the president, Nana Dudan Kwakufado? Well, it is obvious that in the twilight of his career, when he has very two managed to pack bag and baggage for the presidency, uh, President Kufado would want to insert himself in the campaign in a manner that exposes him to public ridicule and derision. Because why does he and Naomi think that they are all the courtesy they were unwilling to extend to others in 2016 and 2020. In 2016 and 2020, when President Mama called for a debate, both he and Baumia slashed the suit. Baumia asked President Mama to go to Sangba to debate the people there because he felt that they were in a better position to hold the debate against President Mama. So why is President Kufado and Baumia <laughs> unwilling or why are they unwilling to swallow their own medicine? The fact is that the MPP cannot expect to be extended cases they were unwilling to extend to others in the past. Number two, a debate with Baumia will be a complete waste of time because it would amount to a dialogue of the dead. This is a man who shamelessly propounds a logical and untruthful position even in the face of glaring facts. For instance, he is able to look Ghanaians in the face and tell us that an economy in which we have defaulted on debt is better than the one in which we used to pay our debt to the land of the mama. An economy in which you need about 17 cities now to get one dollar is better than the one in which you needed one or for us to get a dollar. An economy that owes 760 billion Ghana cities, which we cannot pay, is better than the one in which we owe only 120 billion, which we were able to pay. An economy in which unemployment has skyrocketed to close to 15% is better than the one that unemployment was around 8%. So when you have a candidate who sends a reasons like this, it will be a complete waste of time to go and debate him because he will be unwilling to move from the territory of delusion and come to reality. And then number three, it is obvious that both President Ufwadu and Baumia are aware that they are trailing partly in this election and that they are on their way to receiving a humiliating defeat in the election. So they are desperately begging for a debate in the hopes that it revives their forces. Otherwise, the beggars believe that people who have never believed in debate would now be calling for a debate every minute that they get. So in a nutshell, when the mama and the NDC are not going to waste their time on people who behave hypocritically, who are on principle, and choose and pick when they show up for debate. But it will be an opportunity for you to tell your story, don't you think, if you think that you have a better story? Umar, there has been no shortage of opportunities to tell our story. In fact, over the last four years, the Mama has been telling our story. He has been pointing out what is wrong with this country. And an overwhelming majority of Ghanaians agree with him that the country is not moving in the right direction. There's no debate over that. And then number two, he has been articulating clear policy alternatives, which culminated in the launch of a widely publicized manifesto about two months ago in Winnipeg. And then he has been on a campaign trail for months, where he 
has constantly engaged the people of Ghana on his program. He has engaged the Ghanaian media and has come his policy platform. So there has been no shortage of opportunity to tell our story. But you, but you, but you, but you, in the past asked for this debate to be held. At the time, you believed that you had a message to tell Ghanaians through the debate platform. You've just listed a number of issues there now. And I was just wondering, why don't you use the opportunity? And, and I believe the purpose of debates is to demolish your opponents. If you feel so strongly that you have a better, a superior argument, why don't you show up and demolish this person in, 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 in their presence on a campaign or in a debate? Maomiya was long demolished even before he launched his campaign. His campaign has always been ill-fitted. Even a child in his mother's womb knows that he will lose this election because of his abysmal performance in the management of the economy. Long before he decided to pay the nomination forms to contest this election, he said and he decided because there's no rational, sane human being who will subscribe to a situation where a man who cannot carry it with will demand that he might be added to his load. If the man could not manage the economy, on what basis that he wants to manage the whole country? So for demolition, he was demolished long ago by the economy itself. For many years, he fled from discussing the economy because he knew that the moment he reaches the subject of the economy, he will come in for widespread public criticism and condemnation. So it can never be about demolishing an opponent's argument. The point is that an opponent who does not show you respect is one deserving of respect himself. In 2015, when he went to Sanla and insisted that the Mama should come to Sanla and he paid the people of that place, what was he thinking? So why doesn't he go to Sanla today and he paid them on the calamitous collapse of the economy, on the excruciating hardship that is mismanagement and incompetence and hopelessness have pointed on them? Why doesn't he go and he pays the 1.3 million bondholders whose bonds Totally over 240 billion Ghana cities he has withheld. Why doesn't he tell the 2 million unemployed Ghanaians about his plans in the debate? Why is he wasting everybody's time demanding a debate? As I indicated, it will be a complete waste of everybody's time. And we, the NDC, are unprepared for time with. It appears free SHS still becomes a big problem for your campaign. I notice that you have sponsored ads where you are stating the position that you are, your, your candidate has never been against free SHS. The president, in speaking tonight, is asking your boss to make a definite statement on free senior high school. What would be your response to that? And how would the campaign but react well, to this? He actually encapsulates the reason why a debate is unnecessary. Because these are people who are shameless. In the face of glaring facts, they say otherwise. Who in this imam? The day that you show that as an issue, you question the mama on this program and policy and ideas. Did you not clearly hear him articulate the position of three SHS? So why would the Zaku Fado mount a classroom and purport not to be aware of this position and demand a statement on that position? He is wasting everybody's time. And it is precisely the reason why showing up for a debate will be an unworthy exercise. It will be a violent of the death. They have decided to contrive deafness so that they don't hear whatever is said. There's no point wasting time on the matter because I'm sure your listeners know that going further on that idea will be a waste of anybody's time. Then the mama has articulated the position of CSHS here. In fact, he has done so ever since the policy was implemented. So there's nothing else to say. Thank you so much uh, for speaking to us. That's Felix Kwachio for so he's an aide to yep. former President Muhammad, the NDC flag bearer. He's NDC parliamentary candidate for Abra Asebu Kwabankese in the central region. This eyewitness news on 97.3 CTFM.